Hey everyone, it's Vintage Vinny and welcome to another antique store haul. Everything I'm going to be sharing with you today came from the Black Rose of Chambersburg. Spent about $93 and change. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out what I got, shall we? This caught my attention. I just liked the nice scenery on it and the powdery blue color. It's just a little piece that you hang on the wall. It's made in Japan. It was a little bit dirty, but a magic eraser cleaned it up real nicely, can't you tell? I found this Curate Battle Ribbon Band-Aid tin. I thought that was really cool. Look at those colors. Fantastic graphics on that. If you all remember a while back at the Emmitsburg Antique Mall, I found an ashtray made of lava. And it has a Hawaiian girl in it. So I found a tiki to go with that. It even has the original Kanaloa God of Long Life tag on it. If I had to guess an age, probably from the 1960s. How cool is that, though? Anytime you can find the base to a fairy lamp, I highly recommend picking them up. This is an amber one for the hobnail. Got it for really inexpensive, so... Or got it really inexpensively, so I'm going to hold on to that until I can find a shade. I'm sure I'm bound to find one at the Goodwill or something some sometime. I got this really awesome Carter's Rubber Stamp Ink bottle. It even still has ink in it. Of course, all dried up now. But that image on the front still is nice to display. I did get two little mini pictures this one is smoky gray, and this one is like a smoky green color. I have no idea on the maker. Both are hand blown with smoothed pontils. So be on the lookout for those at my sale on July 1st. Now this little guy here, unfortunately, has seen better days. I think he got really badly injured with a baseball at some point, because look at him. But these little celluloid figures if you can find them inexpensively, you pick them up and rescue them because they're great for assemblages and stuff, but I think I'm going to hold on to him and put them out for summertime. Look at this, you guys. I assume that this is a piece of Fenton. Silver Crest, but it's got a pink interior. How nice is that? So that was a steal of a deal, so I couldn't resist that. Don't forget that in the beginning of July, I think the week after the fourth I will be doing I think it's the 7th 8th and 9th of July I'll be participating in the whatnot estate sale extravaganza so I'm saving some of my glass pieces and better items for that so if you're not following me on whatnot I highly recommend you do so the link to it is down below in the description box I have another barometer, but I really, really like this one. It has a very mid-century look to it. Let's see if it's made by anybody. Uh, I don't see a name unless it's in here somewhere. Uh, made in USA, Air Guide Instrument Company, Chicago. But I loved, loved that. All right, moving along. I found a really awesome Redware Poodle Ashtray. I believe it's marked Japan. Yep, stamped right into the ceramic, or the pottery. So that was really fun. I believe I got 10% off of that, 10 or 20%. I have never seen a Viking snowman before. I didn't realize until after, but he's chipped. I don't know if he was like that when I found him, or if that happened during uh, transportation, but I love him nonetheless. But he's also got damage in other places too, so I assume he was probably like that when I found him. But if that damage is on the back, you're not even gonna see it. I just love him anyway. I did get a bag of these, and there are six of them. It's a Collins Romagos humidifier. I don't think they've ever been used. They don't smell anymore. Oh, they kind of smell like powder, but... It's still just a really cool bottle. And again, I got six of those. I found a Treasure Craft Bunny Rabbit um, 
piggy bank, well, bunny bank. It is marked on the bottom. Treasure Craft 1961, I believe. So that's fun. I also found a planter, and I think I've had this one before. I'm not sure, though, because it's been a while. These were awesome finds here. I got a giant elephant. Well, he's not really giant, giant, but I got an elephant, and he's got a monkey riding on top of him. How stinking cute is that? It does have residue of hand-painted and then Japan right here. No damage to the tusks. Well, there's a, maybe a small little roughness on the one tusk, but how incredible is that piece? I think somebody out there is going to absolutely love this. And then I also found this giant poodle. I mean, look how big he is. He is marked made in Japan right here. But I know that somebody with a poodle collection is going to absolutely love him. And while that wasn't a very long haul, I did also stop at Interstate 81 Antiques. I didn't find a whole lot there, but since this wasn't a whole lot from the Black Rose of Chambersburg, I decided to go ahead and combine the two. So let's go ahead and see what I got at Interstate 81. At Interstate 81 Antiques, I spent $33.19. There wasn't a lot at reasonable prices for me to choose from this time, so I stuck to my bargain shopping as I usually do. So the first thing I'd like to share with you all is this adorable lamb planter. Isn't that just cute? I have no idea who makes them. It could be Brush McCoy. It could be any of those. American Bisque. Really, really cute. It does have what looks like a crack right here. Whoops, it's not showing the camera real well. I'm going to test it and see if it is, if it holds water. But it's on a part where you don't even see it. And there's no chips or anything. But super, super cute. This might be a little hard for you all to see. So I'm going to pick the camera up and show it to you all. This is a sewing machine advertising fan from the early 1900s. Look at that. Let me go ahead and flip it over so you guys can see the back. How stinking cool is that? And I believe that's for a, oh, it's not a singer. Obviously, because it says the new home sewing machine company in Orange Mass. But that is just absolutely phenomenal. So I couldn't say no to that. So in this antique mall, in the basement, there's a section where anything in boxes or on these tables is 25 cents a piece. So I did find a couple of pieces. I've bought and sold these before, these birds. So I found another one. I found this awesome sailor planter. You guys know I have a nautical theme in my bedroom. And I like to find coastal theme items. He was there the last time, and I think I would just bought too much to the point where I was being picky. I said if he was still there the next time I visited, I'd buy him, and he was. So I went ahead and picked him up. He unfortunately had a chipped shoe, so I went ahead and touched that up with some black nail polish. But he's awesome. I did find a 1972 Raggedy Ann and Andy book. I love how colorful the graphics are in here. I mean, look at that. Very, very fun. I believe this was also in that 25 cent bin, so I had to pick that up. These are really interesting. I have no idea what they, I knew what they are. They're dogs, but they have a name on them called Action Sorgenkind Lariot. And it's so small on the in the little circle right there. I can't make out what that says. But I almost want to say action sorgen kind is like maybe German or something for action figure. I don't quote me on that. But this is the other one. It says the same thing. I didn't do any research on these just yet. I just wanted to film the video. And then I've only got three other things. Like I said, I didn't find much there, but 
let's go ahead and check those out.